first of all, uh, we wanted to congratulate the organizers of the Open Education Week for the successful and huge and great agenda and program. Secondly, we wanted to say thanks to Igor Lesko for all support and Marcela Morales also for all support we have received to be here to present the Argentinian initiatives to promote the open access model. Open access means for Latin American countries not only the possibility to extend the frontiers of our access to knowledge, but also an opportunity to new ways of making science, global science through a global knowledge infrastructure. I will introduce ourselves. My name is Silvia Nakano, I'm the director of the National Directorate of Physical Resources of Science and Technology, belonging to the Secretariat of Articulation of the Ministry of Science. I'm here with Alberto Apolaro, Agustina Roldan, Sofia Yurisevich, and Paola Zbigevich, who are the whole team in charge of managing the electronic library and the digital repository national system. We're going to talk about it later. And we work at the Ministry of Science of Argentina. Our ministry is very young. It was created in 2007. Nevertheless, since its creation, the Secretariat of Articulation, where we, we belong, decided to develop strategies to coordinate actions between scientific institutions nationwide. To achieve such coordination, one of the core values that the Secretariat has promoted is openness. Following the lessons learned at the last Berlin Ten Conference, we look for new answers to improve openness to all kinds of resources of the scientific community. Uh, from large instruments to scientific data and literature, in the belief that the open model would bring, in the case of large instruments, an improvement of the rate of use, and in the case of data and information, more equity of access and visibility to research production. We also knew that other organizations from different regions and countries around the world could certainly help us to implement the open model. So we joined La Referencia, that is the first regional network of open access repositories. And looking for answers to our dilemma on how to improve investment in science, equity in access, and visibility, we found that internationally, CORE, the Confederation of Open Access Repositories, was building, building a global network of repositories. So we joined CORE also. And we realized that any in national initiative needed to be aligned with international standards. At the local level, we have created coordination initiatives that we call national systems. Uh, those national, we have two kinds of national systems, large instruments and databases. And they are, um, this is a program where uh, scientific institutions can voluntarily join to participate, um, this process of uh, joining national systems to the Ministry of Science has brought a big and valuable information of the needs and problems of the scientific community in order to help them, to help them. We have a, a Join process, as you can see. And the information coming from this process uh, has been very helpful to take decisions for decision makers, to strategic planning, and also to bring visibility and to detect needs of training uh, for the, the whole community.
there you have some the results of the information coming from the national system. We have created maps where we can locate all institutions and their equipment and their collections of data. And even if it's a voluntary process of joining, we are now uh, having huge standards and equipment on data collection, uh, joining and participating in this initiative of open, different forms of open in the national, in the scientific uh, community. And we also have provided and injected funds and financing to help institutions to become more open, even if openness and articulation are not an economic issue, money always help, helps to believe. And now, Alberto Apolaro will focus on what we are doing at the Digital Repositories National System and the Electronic Library to Open Research Archives. Okay, so the um, digital repository national system depends on the science and technology e library. Um, here, the introduction of the science and technology e library. Uh, it's a library without a physical collection, so its access is fully online. By this way, the e library gives to its users, full text peer review articles in all the areas of knowledge, and also reference databases and abstracts. The aim of the e-library is to satisfy the need of information of the scientific community of Argentina. The scientific community is integrated by uh, researchers, scholars, um, masters, and PhD students, um, and technicians. Uh, the library gives um, have a, a national coverage, which it means the um, the same research researcher in uh, the same in, in our country have uh, in different points of the country the same access. So one of the benefits is the equitable access to scientific and technological information. Uh, also, this benefits it's, um, the library gives uh, an opportunity to avoid the double purchase in the same country. So, uh, one researcher in different, many researchers in different universities uh, who wants to read the, um, the same article uh, have the opportunity to access to have one access. So we paid for one access and not for dub double purchase. Um, and this gives uh, our resources economy and optimization. Here are some of the sub subscriptions that we have. Here is the investment in uh, subscriptions uh, until 2012, we had uh, 20 million uh, US dollars, and it continues in these in this years, almost the same amount. The Digital Repositories National System, uh, the aim is to promote, manage, and coordinate a network of distributed repositories interoperable, physically created and managed by institutions or groups of institutions nationwide to increase the visibility and impact of science and technological production in Argentina. Why getting involved? Well, in Argentina, the national government is the main promoter of science, technology, and productive innovation through employment policies and funding research activities. The free public access to scientific and technological production contributes 
not only the, to the advancement of science, but the increase of cultural, educational, social, and economic patrimony. Thus, it helps to improve the people's quality of life and its growing prestige in the international context. So, as you can see in this slide, uh, government, in, in other words, we paid, in, we paid for, uh, to the researchers for uh, their research, um, and also we paid to access that information that is produced by our researchers in the country. So in this context, uh, the ministry uh, mm, creates an uh, alliance uh, to create, uh, um, to give open access to the national scientific production, uh, which it gives uh, the benefits of lower cost, equitable access for everyone, and increase the visibility of our production. The main benefits of a be part of the system, of the national system, um, well, the National Network of Digital Reposit Repositories for Science and Technology Membership, uh, also to be a member of La Referencia, the, net, the Federated Network of uh, Institutional Repositories. Uh, but only in uh, only for those repositories part of the DRNS. Um, we have a, a, a we will have a portal uh, for the national nodes harvesting other nodes members of the different systems in all the other countries. The countries uh, that integrate the network are Argentina, Brazil, uh, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, El Salvador, Mexico, Peru, and Venezuela. Uh, also, the articulation according to the open access national policies created by the Ministry of Science, Technology, and Productive Innovation and the increase of visibility of the scientific and technological production generated by institutions and organizations and the possibility of request funding for the creation of or development uh, the repository. So in this context, the policy we promote the bill uh, of the creation of open digital repositories in science and technology. The bill was introduced, introduced, introduced in April uh, 2010 to the Congress and last year had the have pro approval from the House of Representatives. Representatives. The aim is seeking to establish the responsibilities that fit each actor involved in scientific research processes to provide open access to their results for the scientific community and the general public, defining reasonable time frames for the release and availability of data and information produced. So as you can see, the, in the um, left column, we have the actors, uh, and the right column, the commitment. The universities, the research and development centers of the scientific community, uh, they have to create institutional open access policies, management, and digital preservation, uh, create also um, no, the development of the interoperable open access institutional digital repositories, uh, peer reviewed science and technology production, documents and for publication and primary data, and offers an institutional rights protection. The researchers, technologists, professors, scholars, masters, and PhD students, they have to, uh, they have to deposit the articles or end uh, an accepted final version for publication in the repository. Uh, public funding ag agencies or institutions, they have uh, to establish uh, open access clauses in publicly funded projects. And the Ministry of Science is the um, enforcement authority. Uh, this um, project um, 
have um, an availability deadline for published or accepted versions. They be, they will be uh, in open access after uh, six months of uh, published, and the primary data after the release of five years. The exceptions uh, are for the sensitive data, production protected under industrial property rights, and the previous agreements with publishers. Uh, the non-compliance of the of the of the law uh, gives no el elegi eligible for future funding requests. So the next step for our project is to create the opening the DRNS portal and the harvester uh, to start to harvest the repositories that we have in the national system. Also the harvest, the regional harvest through La Referencia. Uh, we want to create a digital preservation guideline. Uh, and also uh, develop, develop uh, author rights and institutional rights uh, to give um, tools to authors and, and institutional um, about the, the problems of the rights of the, the publication. And finally, the adoption of the law. We hope that maybe this year we we'll have the adoption. Finally, Sylvia. Well, what we have learned from this experience in Argentina is that openness as a policy helps to coordinate actions at the national and regional level. It helps to be more efficient and more effective in policies, in an action and public action, and improve and economize resources. Creating synergy through sharing efforts and it's also helpful to build cooperation and trust between institutions and researchers. And that's what we need to make science. So that's all. Uh, we have our links there. Thank you very much for your attention. And if you have any questions, mm -hmm. Okay, there's a question here about how national open access policy was received by various institutions. Well, I think that the ministry was created uh, after a movement was installed in the, in the country. So universities and, and scientific, the scientific community was already ready to, to receive such a a law and a project. No? Um, uh, ten years ago, we have already started with the golden way of uh, open access through Cielo and other initiatives and experiences. Um, and then, uh, when the minister was created, uh, I think that uh, the institutions were ready to. And, and willing to share their, um, their production. And it was also neat because uh, um, the, respons the responsibility of institutions uh, needed to be strengthened through uh, a law like, uh, like that one, no? the, the, the repository one. Um, and the, the different initiatives of the ministry uh, were are also helpful for institutions to um, to align their own production and their own researchers. I don't know if I have answered the question.
Okay, so there don't seem to be any more questions from participants. So I would like to thank uh, Sylvia and her team at the Ministry of Science for taking the time and, and talk to us about the uh, national open access policies in Argentina. Thank you very much.